Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spill the Tea with Tommy D. This week we're going to do another special episode. Our lovely friends from the Tea Spot sent me an amazing care package, and in that care package was a tea set for Gung Fu method of brewing, or Gung Fu Cha. We briefly mentioned this one other time in some previous past episodes. Essentially, uh, with Gung Fu style brewing, the way we've been brewing is more of a modern method of brewing. This style is a kind of more of a traditional Chinese method of brewing where we use more tea leaves and very short steep times to really unearth the different layers of the tea. We brought up layers in a few different episodes. So this one, so what we'll do is we'll scoop a few teaspoons. They sent me, again, this is called the Gong Fu Tea Brewing, and this is a gorgeous little 8-ounce teapot, a decanter, and it came with two of these little, uh, little mugs. So typically, traditionally, teas drank in very small quantities, so that way it's always nice and hot and you can just enjoy little cups. So the set came with two of these and you can actually purchase extra ones on their site. And then on top of that, they sent me four amazing pure high-end teas. So the tea set actually comes with an iron, uh, iron goddess oolong and they also sent me some organic iron goddess oolong. So that's the tea that we're gonna do in the tea set. So again, the Gung Fu style, what we're going to do is, because it's an 8 ounce teapot, we're going to do just 2 teaspoons of the tea, but actually this is kind of double the concentrate, because for 8 ounces you would do 1 teaspoon. So this is a greener oolong, so we can see it kind of has like that tightly wound pellets, a lighter color, remember we did a couple different oolongs on some other episodes. So with greener oolongs, we can expect this to have a little bit more of an orchid aroma as opposed to its more um, kind of bolder, darker oolong companion. So we have our tea in our little teapot. And then what we're going to do is I'm gonna let this water cool just a little bit. And then we're going to heat up the teapot and the decanter and the mug. Similar to when we did our cast iron brewing, we uh, have to heat it up so we don't want to pour hot water into cold ceramic or iron because that'll cool down the water and that'll reduce the temperature a little much. Because this teapot is a little, it's a little harder to do the ice method with this, what I'm going to do is I actually let this cool for a couple minutes. Kind of, that's the instructions that the tea spot actually does. They do like a couple minute cool down time to get it to that 195. It is an oolong, so while we're increasing the tea, the, the temperature stays the same in this instance. And because we're increasing the tea leaves, the amount of tea leaves, we can decrease the time to get different infusions. So I'm just going to quickly pour it in there to heat up and rinse the tea leaves. Then I'm going to pour it, this is like a decanter, because unlike what we've been doing is using like a metal strainer. So this teapot, if you purchase it, you can look on the inside, and it actually has, uh, built in the pot, has a little holes right where the spout meets the pot, and that's going to be your strainer. So the strainer is actually built into this, which is why you have the decanter, because you pour it in there to stop the steeping. So the teapot's hot, the decanter is hot. I'm going to just pour that in to heat all of it up so that way our ceramics are hot and I'm just going to dump this into a little mug like a boss, tea boss, I don't know. All right. All right, so all of our stuff is nice and hot. So now tea leaves are rinsed. So we have a 20 second timer for this first infusion. So pour it in. up. I'm going to do my best to talk real fast here. Uh, my favorite thing to do over the summer is going to the beach and people watching at the beach because there is two extremely core types of people that are polar opposites. And basically it's the I don't go to the beach people and the I go to the beach people. We'll continue after. So I'm going to pour this 
right into the decanter. So the holes where the spout meets the pot are keeping the tea leaves in the pot as I strain it into the decanter. Gonna make sure you wanna hold the lid on cause you don't wanna tilt that too far and end up dropping your lid from this beautiful teapot that a lovely company sent me. I'm super, like, I, I'm so excited. This is the first ever, like, thing that people sent me. Uh, I don't know if that makes me an influencer now. Regardless, I'm so, so grateful. I, I've, I've always wanted a Gong Fu set, and now I have one. So, tea is strained. We have our tea in our decanter. That was our 20 seconds deep time. I'm going to pour just a little bit in to my little cup to enjoy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my glass mug as always so that way we can take a look at the color of this tea. Ooh, very hot. Cool. So again, there's only eight ounces, which is why it only yielded a little bit. So for the first infusion, we can definitely see uh, how light it is in comparison to other oolongs. It almost has like a almost like a green tea, a very, very light, pale, yellowish green to it. Very similar to like a Chinese green tea. And then let's uh, let's smell these tea leaves too. We didn't really do that. So unbrewed tea leaves, very fresh, very floral, very orchid, orchid-like. That's pretty much the main, when you get a greener oolong, uh, an orchid is definitely the main thing. Then we have our post-brewed. Uh, a little bit crisper. You can smell a little bit more of that roastiness from the pan firing. All right, so let's taste this tea. As always, we sniff. So the brew is very light. It was only 20 seconds and just very light orchid. Mm. It's got that very, just right up front, you taste that orchid, very fresh, and then right at the end, there's so up front you get the orchid, afterwards I start to get little hints of like a brown sugar sweetness. Yeah, floral. Full or up front, sweetness at the end. Very, obviously, is a 20 second steep, so it's very light body. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of doing a ton of infusions and having to pause and run to the bathroom, because I'm gonna drink like 12 cups of tea from this little thing, uh, I'm going to finish this cup here. We're gonna add 10 seconds to our steep time, and we're gonna do a 30 second steep time to just do one more so we can see those different layers. Let's check it out. Okay, so I finished my first cup, my 20 second steep time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, each time you increase the time by 10 seconds when you're doing Gung Fu style brewing. So the first one was 20 seconds. We're gonna add another 10 seconds and this will, again, it's gonna introduce us to different nuances and layers of this oolong tea. So tea leaves are already in there. The pots are already still hot so we don't need to rinse and do it again. So water's at 195. I'm just gonna pour a little in there. Now the tea leaves opened up just a little bit, but they're gonna open up even more as we get a couple infusions. So here we go, 30 seconds. All right, so what I was talking about with the different types of people at the beach. So we have the, the I don't go to the beach person is like the one, they're holding, they got arm in arm, just a slew of things. They've got their beach chairs, they've got the umbrellas, they've got the hats, they've got the sunscreen. They're like, Someone give me an iron wall. I just want fresh air, but I don't want to get sunburned. Then, the I go to the beach people are very different. They show up with just their one chair. Sometimes they've got that weird mirror thing, and their skin is just leather. You know what I mean? It's like, they kind of look like that, uh, that piece of toast that's been in the toaster too long, and it's burnt to the point where it's about to crumble, and you need to scoop it up with some dust. And uh, those are my favorite people I like to see at the beach and they're usually sitting right next to each other. All right, so we got our 30 second steep time. Let's 
spilled some tea there. Spilled some tea before. All right, let's uh, let's smell some of this after that second infusion. I'm starting to get a little more of that roastiness from that pan firing. Let's pour a little into our cup. Boom! Alrighty. So now that the tea leaves have opened up a little bit more, I get even more of that orchid aroma. Yes, so much more of that floral comes right out front. Let's actually take a take a look at the color because I'm sure the color is way different too. I get that orchidness. I also get a little bit of roastiness of like a, it reminds me of kind of like a brown rice. So think of like the floral orchid, then after that brown rice, less sweetness now. That brown sugar kind of took the back seat after that first infusion. Color, obviously we did 30 seconds. It's our second infusion. A little bit darker, a little bit greener. Mm. So this, that second infusion is going to be much more floral, less sweet, more astringent. Astringency, remember, is that drying that you get from the tea. And then you get that, that roastiness, like that brown rice at the end there. So I'm not going to do, again, I'm going to get about six more steeps of this tea, and I'm not going to just sit there and do that a bunch of times because I'll have to run to the bathroom a bunch of times. So what I did is, uh, before this, I did do a few other steeps. So with this tea, I found, and everyone's a little different, so it's, it's okay. Um, so for the 42nd, I actually got a little bit of less of that roastiness, like that brown rice, and I actually almost got like a wood, kind of like a woodish oaky flavor, and then that sweetness starts to return a little bit after that 40 second infusion. 50 seconds, I got even more of the sweetness, and I'll, I still it's always still orchid up front. More of the sweetness and a little bit of chestnut instead of brown rice. And then that was the 50 second, and at the one minute mark uh, is when the infusion starts to definitely get lighter. This color would get darker first and then lighter because we're using more of the leaves. Uh, after a couple infusions and that final steep I got more brown sugar and more of a chestnut so it kind of reminded me of almost like a more fuller bodied dragon well tea so th it was a lot of information I tried to make this one uh, informative but not too long Gung Fu is a very uh, tricky thing to do it requires a bit of skill however it's an amazing set, a beautiful tea set. I can't wait to just continue to brew teas with my new set. Thank you so much, The Tea Spot. It really m means so much to me. So please check out The Tea Spot. They have a, a, other infusers and tea sets and an amazing story. So please visit them. I'm going to finish out all of the teas they sent me. I'm going to review them not using Gung Fu. I'll just use my regular method to make it a little simpler. Uh, and then we're gonna just continue to explore more teas and thank you all for watching these videos and I'm gonna finish this tea. I'm gonna do a bunch more so keep drinking tea and We will see you on the next episode